And now a message to the President of the United States. You are a jackass. There have been many words to describe you during these first two and a half months of this human waste treatment plant of an administration of yours, and I have used most of them. Demagogue, liar, idiot, despot, simpleton, traitor, schmuck, asshole, buck passer, puppet, lunatic, toddler, fascist, jerk, schmo, schnook, dope, dipstick, lame brain. But after prolonged consideration, you are a jackass. You are president jackass. Who else but a jackass would look at the dying children of Syria and have, as your first reaction, to blame your predecessor when your predecessor did exactly what you urged him to do at least 37 different times just on Twitter? Who else but a jackass would have as your second reaction to do nothing, to stick to the policy that most benefits Russia? Who else but a jackass would have as your third reaction to put the international balance of power at risk in case our troops happen to kill a Russian in Syria because your daughter, the Schlockmeister one, who tries to turn everything she can touch into a marketing opportunity, she reportedly ran to daddy and said she was heartbroken and you should thus go kill some people. Who else but a jackass would have as your fourth reaction to warn Russia that our missiles were coming, knowing Russia would likely warn Syria, and then may even have put the lives of American service personnel at risk so they could run a farcical stunt attack on an airbase with instructions that they should not try to destroy the runways from which the Syrian jets carrying the sarin gas that killed those kids took off. Who else but a jackass would have as your fifth reaction when America finally woke up to the nauseating reality that you put our people's lives at risk to run a phony photo op missile strike that didn't strike much of anything to tweet that everybody knows when you bomb an airbase, you never bomb the runways because they're so easy to fix. You are a jackass. You are President Jackass. Who else but a jackass would rely on his nitwit son-in-law to do anything on behalf of the American government when he just happened to fill out the forms for the top secret security clearance he doesn't deserve in a million years, and he came to question 20B.6, which asks about substantial meetings with foreign governments, and he forgot to mention his meetings with the Russian ambassador to the United States. Who else but a jackass would trot out this Kushner, this triumph of double nepotism after this? To borrow some names from Louise Mensch's Twitter feed, Oliver North Face somehow acting in the name of our democracy, wearing flax Fifth Avenue and a pair of Jamokli sunglasses. Who else but a jackass would say how many weeks he'd been in office and get it wrong by a margin of 18%. Who else but a jackass would accuse Susan Rice and Barack Obama and the intelligence community of crimes without one shred of evidence among them, but continually defend Vladimir goddamned Putin? Who else but a jackass would claim that an 11-term Democratic congressman from Baltimore had told you, you will go down as one of the great presidents in the history of our country and leave off the part where he said that to perhaps become great, first you'd have to stop dividing and harming the country and start truly representing everybody. You are a jackass. Who else but a jackass would demote, sorry, reaccommodate a man like Steve Bannon, not because he has no business being involved in running anything more important than a popsicle stand, but because you reportedly were embarrassed that Saturday Night Live made him look like your boss. And you weren't, quoting of all places Fox News, happy with the way Bannon had been grabbing the limelight. Who else but a jackass would let Homeland Security try to trample the First Amendment to unmask one of his critics on Twitter? Who else but a jackass would have escaped disaster during the campaign after the Access Hollywood sexual assault tape, yet still publicly defend a serial sexual harasser like your pal Bill O'Reilly and claim he'd done nothing wrong? Who else but a jackass would accuse a New York Times reporter of being the PR person for Hillary Clinton and when she replies, mostly by you though, you reply, no, 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 mostly by a lot of people like you're 12 freaking years old. Who else but a jackass could have a collection of pet television hosts, propagandists so stupid that they would not think to delete four-year-old tweets that prophesied your nitwitted policy? Glad our arrogant president is enjoying his taxpayer-funded golf outing after announcing the U.S. should take military action against Syria. You are a jackass. President jackass. And worst of all, worst of all, maybe worse than everything else combined so far. 
Who but a jackass would approve his first high-profile military mission and see a Navy SEAL named Ryan Owens lose his life while fulfilling that mission and then exploit his widow during your speech to both houses of Congress, saying the same day, this was a mission that was started before I got here. This was something that was, you know, just they wanted to do. My generals are the most respected that we've had in many decades, and they lost Ryan. Jackass. You worthless jackass. You president jackass.